Well, I've successfully killed the species. <laughs> Not sure how I feel about that, but... I thought those guys were supposed to be Force-sensitive. I guess later on in their generations, they lost that power? I don't know. Alright, now that this guy was nice enough to drag Yagra, we are just going to run past. Excuse me. The operation in Darth Revan's complex was a success, General. Have a look at this. I can feel it humming with power. What is it? Some sort of device. The descendants of Revan's slaves were worshipping it. They called it their infinite engine. Fascinating. If Revan was hiding this, it must be astonishingly powerful. Those descendants of Revan's slaves you mentioned, are the aliens still alive? The ones I didn't kill won't survive without this machine. Excellent. I despise loose ends. The Emperor will be pleased. You've done a commendable job. I'll have this machine transported to Drummond Cass for study. With any luck, we can put it to good use. I'm glad you're so excited. I've just received a request for assistance from my colleague Major Danris in network access. If you visit that sector, he could use you. I'm just being fucking traded around. Like a piece of meat. <laughs> Alright, returning to Watcher X finally. Because yeah, that's what they wanted me to do after setting up the surveillance network. Over the, uh, around the, uh, corporate headquarters. So let's see what Watcher X has to say for himself. Still guarded by these two, so that's a good sign. Welcome back, Cypher. Glad you could visit. Most people in Shadowtown seek escape. Spies. Assassins. Freedom is the only reason they'd help the Empire. But Imperial Intelligence isn't offering me freedom. You know why? You're insane. Letting you free would be the worst thing we could do. Imperial intelligence is scared to let me free. But the Watchers know that if I refuse to help, my mental conditioning reacts. If I disobey a superior, I get headaches. They last for days. So I may as well help you. The alternative is less pleasant. Whatever it takes to keep you under control. Me or anyone else your employers want to train. Now that we have surveillance, I've been able to monitor Verve Gen's activities. The results are enlightening. As we suspected, they're manufacturing Cyclone. In fact, Verve Gen is preparing a large quantity of serum for transport and distribution. They weren't testing it out in the name of science. I won't argue. But this next point is more intriguing. Verve Gen's day-to-day -day management is expecting a visit from the owners. That's when the Cyclone will be turned over. Security will increase. Employees sent home, holocams activated, internal defenses powered on. But get into the meeting unnoticed, and you'll find the terror cell leaders. Then we can eliminate the terrorists and destroy the cyclone. An appropriate solution. But the approach will require delicacy. With effort, we can create a cybernetic disguise combining armor, implants, and holographic technology. You would appear to be a Class V droid. Most security devices don't screen mindless droid workers. Fitted with such a camouflage system, you could walk into Vervgen unmolested. You expect me to go undercover as a droid? It's the most efficient way to get inside Vervgen. More to the point, it's the only way I can think of. I've already assembled the system's components. All that remains is to implant the cybernetics necessary to hide your life readings. I can put you to sleep with an anesthetic before making the incisions. 
Otherwise, we can begin. The procedure should be swift. There's no way I'm letting you knock me out. As you like. I'll go as fast as possible. <gasps> there. I've inserted three implants along your spinal column. The pain should fade quickly. Congratulations. From now on, you'll be able to pass as a machine. Are we finished, then? We're finished. Time to move on. It won't be long before the cell leaders arrive at Vervgen. I suggest you get to the meeting. Eliminate everyone. Afterward, I'll contact you for confirmation. Good luck, Cypher. So just a couple of implants makes... <laughs> makes them see me as a droid? I'm a little nervous about the implants, because I don't... I don't trust this city as far as I can throw him, and I don't I don't think I can throw him. Uh but I'm still confused about these fucking implants. Whatever. We shall see. Alright, we've made it to the corporate headquarters. Down here in the upper industrial sector. And we're going in. Hello? But how the fuck is my companion gonna get in? Okay. I guess as long as I'm... F she's with me, she's okay. <laughs> I've still got my fucking rifle! Uh. I don't want to look hot. Get on the elevator, thank you. Um, okay. uh, I'm probably gonna have to fight my way out. After the test results came in, we made some modifications. The serum lasts longer. The side effects kick in later, but it's still lethal. No matter what we do, Cyclone will burn up its users from the inside out. I'm not concerned about fatalities. The men and women taking the serum understand the necessity of sacrifice. This is an important day for us. You've created a new weapon in our fight for freedom. One that we'll use to great advantage. We're all honored to hear that from the Eagle, sir. Vervgen is your partner in the cause. How do you want to proceed? You and your men will distribute Cyclone to the cells and continue overseeing Nar Shaddaa. Verv Jen will remain under your watch. Wraith and Predote will continue managing the business. I appreciate your faith in me, sir. Smugglers are ready and waiting. As soon as we're done here, I'll get the serum to them. Excellent. If we need Verv Jen again, I'll contact you. Otherwise, use your initiative. End transmission. You heard him. Grab the serum and go. Wraith and... I'm sorry, sir. I was doing a full sensor scan, and that droid over there is showing unusual readings. I don't recognize it. Certainly shouldn't be in the conference room. I'm here to kill you. Let's deal with this intruder. Something's wrong with the internal defenses. I can't get a response. Right. Secure the building, and don't let anyone escape. Anyone who needs a boost from Cyclone, take it.
I, I know I like to do the dark side options, but it just seemed like the correct thing to do. It's just stay quiet. Recording function activated. Self-diagnosis? Critical. I'm going to die. I'm looking at the man who's going to kill me. A cyborg. How convenient. You eliminated the cell leaders. Now we must remove every trace of their operation and prevent their followers from regrouping. The terrorist communications hub, the system they use to arrange meetings, store secrets, broadcast propaganda, must be destroyed. The man at your feet is our opportunity. He's mewling on the floor. He, he's barely an opportunity for target practice. You can kill him soon, if you like. This won't take long. We can use his computer-enhanced brain to locate the hub. You'll need to route me to his cortical implant. What? You can't do that! There should be a standard interface somewhere on his skull. Connect your holo communicator, and I can slice the data inside his mind. Please, I'll tell you what you need to know. Just don't slice my brain. You played the game and lost. These are the consequences. Please don't. I'm inside. He's Aethel Yarn, born on Dantooine. Sixteen years old, he comes to Narshadar, works for the Exchange, earns his cybernetics. Nineteen years, he's recruited by the Narshadar terror cell, starts as nothing, but his enhancements prove useful to men higher up. They connect him to the cell's communications hub, feed him codes and patterns. Now the coordinates are mine. What are we waiting for? The hub is in the network access sector, a maze of computers and holonet transceivers. You'll have to pass the cell's security droids to reach it, certainly within your capabilities. Once you're there, disable the terminal. Then the Narshadar terror cell will cease to exist. <laughs> Consider this an act of mercy. That was quite the act of mercy. Hmm, got some nice new snazzy armor. Cleo? Well, Cleo did anyway, I didn't. I didn't get shit. But it's okay. Are they all dead? Nope, but they hopefully will let me pass because I don't feel like shooting my way through these all these idiots. They are level 22 though, so they're the correct level. I guess there might have been a way for me to not have the fucking implants. I don't know. 